Greetings, Guardians. I'm Jade7, back with another episode of Geeks Under Grace Gaming's Quick Scope. Today we've got a mission in the tower. We're going back to revisit Destiny with the Year One expansion of The Taken King. So strap in and let's head to the tower. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm here with uh, The Taken King. It just launched today. And we are flying over the tower, getting ready to go to the tower for the first time since the Taken King came out. I'm playing with a level 34 hunter, and uh, we're going to go see what we can get into here. With all three of my characters, I've completed uh, all of the raids, both of the raids, defeated Atheon and Crota. As you can see from the ship that I've got there, I've definitely taken out Crota. Let's see what we got in our inventory, if we got anything new, or if... Uh... Oh, Legend of the Hunter... Be brave. Reach level 40. Well, you better believe I will. Okay. And so, everything I've got here, you can see I've got 155 light. I'm level 34. We don't have my third subclass yet, so that's a that's a bummer. I guess we got to do a quest or something for that. Everything I've got, you can see, is legendary or uh, exotic. Well, with the exception of my cloak. Because it had higher defense and we were running some stuff last week. I wanted to try to get that. The shells now, the ghost shells, also have defense. Something to definitely keep in mind when you're going through and looking at your ghosts. Uh, you're going to want stuff that's actually going to help you out now. So just like a piece of armor that, from before that gave you intelligence or uh, a strength or something like that, you got to pay attention. All right, so we've got some stuff waiting for us from uh, the postmaster. Let's see what we got. Night Stalker's gift: the sprinkler, a Night Stalker cloak, and the Nebula glow. We also have a spark of light and a Suro special pack. Okay, all right. So I'm going to leave that spark of light because, if I'm not mistaken, that's what lets you. One time use, get up to level 25, and I don't really need that sort of thing. And it looks like the Titan Commander actually has something for me. As a hunter, that's kind of a curiosity. Talk to the speaker at the North Tower in the Tower. Veterans Tour. Okay, so this is a quest that's meant for people that have been around it. Uh, I think you had to hit level 30 within the first year, which, let's be honest, you didn't have to play a whole lot to hit 30, especially if you did it in the last week. Um, Alright, it looks like we need to head this way. Now, you, there are a few things to note here with what they've changed up in patch 2.0 and present. Um, in the UI here, you can see we can go over to quests now. You can hold 16 quests. You can track. Um, you can track four of them at a time. Hit A on them or, or X. You can track those, and you can see here we have a full-blown quest log for things that we can do for quests as well. So plenty to keep us busy. Uh, a lot of handy tools to be able to keep a better track of things. In fact, here real quick while I'm running around, let me go ahead and see what we got. 170 for the Night Stalker cloak. Which I can't wear with that helmet. Okay, let's swap helmets out. And let's see what this new cloak looks like. That's pretty cool looking. Your Night Stalker subclass upgrades 25% faster. Okay, so Night Stalker is going to be the third class for the hunter. What do we also got? The Sprinkler, that's a new dance I guess. Alright, we got a, a nice new emblem there. And let's see what this new shader we got two new shaders, the Nebula Glow, that's a lot of purple, and the Minimalist. And I'm not going to lie, that looks pretty cool. I like the Minimalist. doesn't really match with the cloak, that's a lot of red going on with that purple. If you're going to go into battle, clash, right? Your return Veterans Tour, talk to the speaker. It is my honor to speak to you today, Guardian. This has been a great and terrible year. The Black Garden, Crota, the Kale of Kells... And now you stand before me, your light as a beacon in the night. You are why the walls still stand, why the tower holds us together, and why the last safe city sees a brighter year to come on the horizon. Oh, and we got a new shell, 
The 170 defense. Very cool. All right. And you can see there, you, you can actually upgrade and get skills and abilities and things from the ghost shell. <laughs> ghost shell. Ghost in the shell? No. Ghost shell. All right. So let's see who we need to go talk to now. It looks like the, uh, the lady that lets us get new. Yep, the outfitter. Let's see what Eva Lavant. What do you have, Miss Lavant? Eva Lavant. The old guard. I like the sound of that. I've been around a little while, so guys and gals that have been around and aren't sure if you're wanting to come back or not, keep some of this stuff in mind. Uh, there's some stuff that you could end up getting in your pocket here just for jumping in. What does the old guard look like? It's an all-black shader. <laughs> I'm definitely going with the old guard. I've been waiting a year for the all-black shader. I've got Chatter White. I've got Glow Who. I've been wanting an all-black shader, so I'm pretty stoked about that. Wait, did I miss something? There's somebody I should have talked to as well. There are a lot of people in the tower we need to talk to right now, huh? New monarchy. Okay, the day's looking up. Sure. All right, so we got plenty of quests we're picking up here in the tower. Uh, let's go ahead and head out and actually do a mission. See if we can get some new gear. Maybe um, meet some of the new enemies. Maybe see what the new uh, what the new what the new story content looks like because I, as I understand it, you know, guys like uh, Nathan Fillion actually get a cinematic role with this. Uh, well, as cinematic as you can get as a voice actor, but it's actually going to be a bit more involved, from my understanding. So, uh, I'm not going to go to the tower. Let's go to Mars. What do we got going on in Phobos? Uh, <laughs> they go from a, a level requirement to a light requirement. 240 light. I currently have 155. So I guess we're going with the 250... F nope, nope. That's totally wrong, Joe. Going with the level 25 content. This is the first story of the expansion. And... F uh oh. I was born the moment the traveler died. As everything collapsed around us. That's the ghost. That's Nolan North's new ghost. There had never been a ghost. There had never been a guardian. So we get the original ghost. But I know it made me to bring you back. And I spent a really, really long time searching for you. A cargo drone? Not the first place I looked. As I saw the other ghosts find their guardians, and the centuries went by, I wondered if I'd ever find you. And then, I did. I remember well, we got a little bit of a Star Wars vibe going on. I still wear the scars. Is that the Queen of the Reef? I believe that is the Queen of the Reef and her brother. I am their queen. Look at this. They put some heavy lifting into uh, a little bit of story content. This is awesome. <laughs> This feels like something straight out of Star Wars. We've got the Awoken. Who are they fighting against? What are these? Is that the Vex? The Fallen? I feel like that's got to be the Fallen. Very impressive.
What in the world are they cooking up here? Looks like she's bringing the asteroid belt with her. Uh-oh, what do we got going on? Whoa, it's Oryx! We've known since you escaped from that pit. <laughs> he looks pretty awesome. Almost looks like Diablo. After a fashion. Wow, he's just straight wrecking the queen. The Oracle have played their part. This was all part of the plan. Wow. It is all up to you now. Okay. That was a really cool way to kick off an expansion, okay? It's about time we got some good work in the cinematics. We got a little bit of effort on voice acting and some storytelling. That is what I've been waiting a year for. That that is a big part of what I felt was missing from the core game when it launched a year ago. So I'm I'm very excited for what the rest of this expansion holds. Let's see if we can run through the first mission, guys, and then we will uh, we'll start wrapping some things around. Sir, sir. This is Commander Zabal. The Cabal base on Phobos is blasting a signal across all channels. They're willing to break transmission sensors. This could be a prelude to a full-scale assault. we come in with my ship from Crota. The son of Oryx. Good luck to you both. All right. Time to drop the hammer. The Taken King, new step. The coming war. Travel to Phobos and investigate the Cabal distress signal. All right. This definitely has the feel. Whoa. What do we got going on there? Is that a friend or foe? Can't tell. We're certainly on a, uh, a desolate piece of rock. It looks like they're mining out there in the distance. Evacuating with extreme prejudice. Let's go in, Viz, real quick. Alright, I'm going to be sneaking up here. Nope, not sneaking up much. Ghost Link. Engage the ghost. Okay, this is new. Ghost Link notification highlights objects in the world. Your ghost makes a tone and an icon appears mid-screen when scanning is available. Okay. Well, that's a lot of dead cabal. Look at the frost on the windows. Way out in the middle of nowhere. Okay, respawning restricted. Here we go. This means stuff's about to get real. What was that? What the hell was that? <laughs> Fingertips on the surface of my mind. Uh... That's creepy. Whoa! 
Okay, there, now we got some Cabal. Or not. I guess he's gone. Um, I like a... Wow, it's like a portal to another dimension. Okay, finally got some guys. Oh, this is why the cabal were blasting out on all channels. They're getting torn apart. Uh, what what are we about to do? What about? Oh my goodness. Cyrock, the word of Oryx. Whoa, look at these guys. They're like half and half. Like, half light, half dark. That's pretty sick looking. Whoa. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, so these guys are rough. Oh my goodness. Okay, well this is this is not going like I had thought it would. I'm about to get wrecked. Run, 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 run. Do run, run. Oh, we got a green orb there. Let's see what, uh... What old Master Rahul's gonna give us? Oh, no, that's not Master Rahul. That's just a... Just a regular old gun. Keep in mind, folks, this is a pretty well-upgraded uh, gun from the base game. Where did he go? Where did he go? Alright, Cyrock, you're going down, brother. All right, they gave us like two thousand experience and left a blue. Oh, we got a it looks like a pistol. That looks like a nine millimeter pistol. That's cool. Oh, so now we have to escape from the base. Okay. Well, that was curious. That was a cabal, but he'd been transformed. A Taken Knight. So the Taken are basically... This feels like they're kind of the... Uh, they're kind of the all-race equivalent... Like we had in Halo with, uh... My brain is not working right now. The race that just took everything down they could. Okay, so we got the option to go down there. Not gonna lie, though. I kinda wanna go down that hall. Okay, now we got a coded engram. Let's see what we got down this way. Now, from what I understand, they are also officially releasing... No, I guess it's just a dead end. That wouldn't make much sense, would it? Alright, I guess it is. Alright, backtrack. I thought maybe there would be a chest or something down through here. Oh! We can scan something. So, 
it looks like there's stuff in the environment that we can scan regardless of the fact that This is curious. You couldn't do this in the base game either. That's kind of cool. It gives you an opportunity to get a little bit of extra story in. Alright. The Aerodrome. That's a cool name. Whoa, 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 whoa. Our ship's across the Hurry. Uh. Uh. That's kind of cool the way they just evaporated out there. All right, let's see what the best way to get out of here is going to be. Oh no. I guess I can jump down. I got my second jump. And really, okay, so I'm invisible now. I can kind of run free of. Whoa, double jump! You gotta admit, the, uh, the kind of astral design of these guys is pretty cool. Uh-oh. Looks like we may end up going that way. Might as well try to pick some of these dudes off for a, a distance. From a distance. Kill it with fire. Okay. I've also got one for an arc gun. And let's, tr let's test this pistol out. Let's see how the pistol does. This brand new pistol we just picked up. Okay, so I can't aim it worth anything, but it's got a crazy fire rate, and I'm sure with a little practice I could get better with it. Remember, folks, headshots are always your friend. Always aim for the head. We just got a new helmet. And some Grimoire cards. There you go. You want to start stacking up on your Grimoire score again? Here's how you do it. So it appears that the Taken and their king... Uh, are going to be some really interesting dudes to fight. Uh-oh, what do we got here? 167, 160. So that stuff's not quite as good as what I got. That's good. I'm happy with that. It feels really strange to see green gear that's as strong in terms of defense as what I've already got strapped to my feet. And that's a lot of falling. They're pledging their allegiance to Oryx. Whoa! They can replicate? Maybe instead of the Taken King, it should be uh, the Taking King. This guy's willing to recruit anyone and everyone that he can. It's not like the Queen to attack a superior force. How 
to cheer me. How could anyone? You need a warlock inside the dreadnought. Here we go. Our first priority must be to protect the city. Our guardian got a good look on focus. Whatever it was, it turned cabal against cabal, wiped out their base units. How long would we last? Until we understand what we're dealing with. They are taking me. Eris, get your rock off my map. It hasn't since fell. Yeah, everybody, you, you gotta love Nathan Fillion, no matter what role he's in. Because Oryx has arrived. Come to fulfill the final covenant of his son. But why fight the Cabal? Not fighting. Taking it. Controlling their will. So we focus on his arm. Kill these taken until he's all that's left. Whatever you kill, Oryx will replace. The Dreadnought, then. How do we get past that weapon? Without ending up like the Awoken. I gotta go, uh, see about a ship. Kate, our discussion is not yet concluded. Oh, I know. That's why I'm leaving. All of the leaders of the humans combined don't know a way to take this guy down. They've set up a really good enemy and a really good opposing force, and they have obviously put a lot of effort into the storytelling this time around. It's about time, ladies and gentlemen. That's very exciting to see. Very exciting indeed. So let's see what we can do in terms of the Crucible. Something new that they've added uh, is a mode called Rift. Of course, you've got your standard other modes as well. Uh, control, Clash, Skirmish, that sort of stuff. And I never noticed this before. Classic 6v6, Classic 3v3, Classic Free For All. And an Elimination mode. Well, that, uh, that may be. Well, I, I don't recall that one either. Uh, small Team Tactics 3v3. Revive teammates to keep fighting. Bring down the entire opposing team to claim victory. So that sounds like it's a game designed for quick rounds. Lots of fun. Oh man, I'm I'm uh, I'm jazzed up, guys and gals, uh, fellow guardians, geeks and geekettes. This this is what we should have gotten a year ago. This is what they should have delivered in the base game. If they had this level of polish on the story and and the all of that sort of stuff uh, around initially, we would have gotten a much much well more well received product. Now, obviously, a lot of people really like Destiny. I put over 500 hours myself into it. I'm not harping on it, but there's no denying that it had issues the first year, uh, running short on content. So to see that, that we have a lot more content, a lot more going on here, and a lot more effort put into it is really, uh, really comforting to me. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, geeks and geekettes, and fellow guardians. A uh, little bit of a quick look there at Destiny and the Taken King. I think there's a lot in store for year two of Destiny, uh, and it's clear that they've put a lot of work and effort and polish into what they've presented here. If you've played Destiny in the past and you put it away and you weren't sure if you would pick it back up, I strongly urge you to give this a serious consideration. If you've not played it all and you were holding out to see if you thought this was going to be worth it or not, I would encourage you to give it a strong look. I definitely think some of the changes they've made for the better uh, are going to make it that much more exciting of an experience. And uh, it's clear that they're putting more effort into the narrative as well. So... The 10 years, the 10 year timetable they put out when they were f first announced that they were working on Destiny is looking more and more feasible. If they can keep coming out with content like this, there's a good chance that this has uh, the ability to live on and surpass Halo even maybe. Who knows? Well, thank you guys so much. God bless. Go forth and game. Leave a comment below. Like this video. Let me know what you think. Share it with your friends. 
Are you guys planning to play Destiny? Have you gotten the Taken King already? Have you already hit 40? I don't know. Let me know in the comments below. Thanks, guys and gals.